All right, it's a big, big day in camper building. Yes, it is, because why? Because I am prepping the camper for painting. You may notice there's less stuff down the side of the camper. There's less stuff underneath it in the way. And this is all because I am doing exactly, I'm prepping it for painting. And so that means that basically everything is sealed up now on the outside. You get all the, all the marker lights, the doors, all that stuff. So now I'm going to take it out and do a final articulation test. And that'll uh, be coming up in the next video. But in this video, we're going to do some more prep for painting before then taking it out. Final articulation test before starting to button everything up and paint it and install the storage boxes underneath and start really making it look like a real camper. Because last video went ahead and I got these Acilianics installed. You can see the most interiors all framed out. The wood paneling is gonna start coming up. But in this video, I'm gonna focus on some of the initial paint prep, removing stickers and things like that. And that's because I'm gonna paint this entire camper and uh, cab. Prepping it for painting by sanding it down, the whole entire camper and the cab. It's gonna be from my work. There's some things obviously I gotta take off to do that and then I'm gonna paint the whole entire thing. It's gonna be great. But before I do that, I gotta go ahead and peel off these remaining stickers here so that I can paint over, you know, over this and not have these stickers underneath. So that's what we do right now. And I do that with my heat gun. And so here we go, let's get this going. And this is exciting moment. There we go, I've got it started, but unfortunately it's leaving a lot of residue behind. Of course the whole camp is gonna get washed basically almost like rubbed down with rubbing alcohol pretty much clean this whole thing up really well so this amount of residue it's a little bit of tiny residue it's a tiny amount and now it's, it's only at very much of the corner at the moment so i think it's going to be okay it's like a foiled sticker here as long as i just keep the heat on it softens up comes off fairly easily but yeah there's still a lot of residue behind so that's unfortunate oh well it is what it is no more fuso fe 140 gas sticker to be on this bad boy Oh man, that sucks. Okay, you can probably see that some of that foil there stuck behind. I don't know what to do about that. Other than maybe work from back backwards here from the front and then maybe I can keep that foil and adhesive together and work from the front and it is working at least for that portion. Well, that kind of sucks. It is what it is. Not so great. I can still read the gas in there, in that foil sticker. Oh well, let's keep working this off. Let's see if this one goes any better. Start with the front here, we can get a little bit more of a direct low angle in on this sticker here. I'm just gonna focus on heating up just the portion in front of where I am. That core sticker there came off really, really easily. That's a pretty simple vinyl sticker. This metallic stuff that's put on the factory has really, really got a great adhesive. Really sticky, really difficult to come up. You can see it's even harder to even get it started here. And of course, I'm trying not to scrape the paint, even though I'm going to sand it up before I paint over it. But of course, I don't want to say damage it up and inconsistent, the paint that is, the factory paint. But I'm going to need a picking tool just to get this started here. This is just not, not even getting uh, started. Metal picking tool. Care if I'm just going to slide that under it. All right, she's working great. Keep this heat on it. I have it on, by the way, like a pretty low setting, you know, there on a scale of six, it's two up. So it's pretty low. So something not to damage the paint. It's pretty warm. It's too warm to hold your hand there for more than a few seconds. But I know it's not going to be, it shouldn't be, in, you know, too hot to damage the paint, but yet hot enough, hopefully, to at least get this adhesive sealed up. And unfortunately, this adhesive here really is incredibly good. So it is not going to all come up with the sticker like I was hoping it would. And part of the trick here I found out is just work it slowly. Don't, don't force it. Even once you start, get it started, just keep heating it up, keep working it. This way there's less residue behind you have to clean up. Especially with these foiled stickers because man, they leave a lot of this metallic behind along with the adhesive residue. Maybe if I can get a smaller, thinner tool in here, that might work better. Let me try that. The bummer is I don't really have any good other tools. That one's all beat up. That are plastic here to fit in there. You can see even taking the heat gun away for just that minute, you know, just cooling off even just after a minute already took that away, that ability to really slip this in there. So now with me being able to heat this up, you can see now it's moving along really much easier. Just have to keep keep doing this. 
I'm even going to bump it up a, a temp notch, one notch on the temperature. So I'm at half temp right now, whatever that is. Probably around 140, 150. Unfortunately, much of the adhesive is staying behind. But at least this time, less of the foil is staying behind. Last time on the other side there, I rushed it too quickly without it getting hot enough, and that foil just separated. I'm having a little bit of that happen here again because I think I'm just probably going a little too fast again. I need to slow it down, let this gun heat, heat it up. And there you go, just that minute of waiting, or a few seconds of waiting for it to heat up, all of a sudden the foil just stopped peeling sep away separately. So it is just a methodically slow process. And voila, there it is. Ouch, hot foil. Let's take a look, closer look. You can see it's not terribly pretty. There's a lot of this foil left behind here and definitely the sticky residue all along. So I've got a lot of still cleanup to do to get all the sticky residue away. And I don't really know what to do about that. It is really on there and it's quite, it just kind of breaks up. So I may just have to keep peeling it away. Here where it's warm, it's peeling away pretty easy. So I may just have to take my picking tool and just try to get in here and pick it away. What a pain, right? It doesn't work so well. I'm not sure what the trick is, but definitely here I can't really work it at all where it's already cooled off. So I think heat is definitely a friend. All right, figure that out. This is way easier on these vinyl stickers. Well, this one is uh, a little bit more persickony than the other two. Is that really a word, persickony? Anybody know? If you know, put it in the comments below. I'm curious. And what is the origin of persickony? Where does that word come from? If you can see this vinyl sticker here, they come off pretty darn easy. There'll be a little bit of rubbing alcohol cleanup afterwards, but a tiny bit. Interesting enough, this is actually a plastic panel on the Fuso here. It's over plastic panel that goes over the uh, the metal body. You know, pretty much the same as any car. You know, plastic front parts where the radiator grill and stuff are. But uh, I don't want to get too hot. But yeah, that came off pretty nicely. Let's go scoop it all up in one piece here. Okay. Nice hot vinyl there. Mmm, yum. There we go. Yahoo! Let's show ya. You see, just tiny bit of residue. Tiny bit. That'll come off super easily with some rubbing alcohol. So there we go. Stickers are off. Now, this truck is going to start taking its transformation into its new truck and name to be released soon. Hang in there. Keep watching and subscribing to find out more. Watch the rest of this DIY exhibition camper build out. I'm super excited to share with you, the guys, the final paint job and the whole process and going through. It's a lot of work. But before that, I got to take it out for a little bit of an articulation test, climbing up on a big boulder, trying to actually step out on a big boulder, and then actually even trying to balance on a bunch of big rocks, which is all oh, kind of fun. But all that coming up, along with painting of the camper and the prepping and all that comes along with it, and these electrically actuated doors, the several of them that I have, I'm going to show you more about that as well. So thanks so much for watching, subscribing, and paying attention to this DIY Expedition Camper Build.